broke this up into a couple different parts tonight. Here in part one, we're going to talk about cell you know, metabolism, and the cardiovascular system. We're not going to go into a lot of the finer details of cell and metabolism. I think you can probably take two or three college level classes on that, and uh, not quite what we're interested in here. We're just going to hit the basics. All right, there's that P word, perfusion. What does perfusion mean? Can you go back one? Ah. And don't hesitate to tell me to go back or stop or wait or whatever. If you want to write something down, by all means. Ready? I actually put some time into preparing for this lecture. I might just make this one up as they go along. All right, just that P word, perfusion. What what does perfusion mean? Delivery of oxygen. Right, del delivery of oxygen and nutrients to tissue and the. Removal of waste. The removal of waste is just as important as the delivery of oxygen. Okay? Because think about it, just you know, imagine if we had a bunch of food in our deliver and they kept delivering food, but we never took the garbage out. Uh, after a while, we're not going to be able to function very well because the whole room's going to be full of garbage. Uh, anaerobic metabolism is without, without oxygen. Aerobic metabolism is with, with oxygen. And hypoperfusion means right, inadequate delivery of oxygen nutrients and inadequate removal of waste products. All right, now these two, and we'll talk about this in more detail in just a second, is not really two separate processes. You don't do one or the other. They're actually two stages of one whole process. Okay? So don't think of it as it's one process or the other. You actually always do both processes. Uh, they're both components of a, of a whole process. We good to move on? No? Okay. Yeah, hyperperfusion and shock. That's basically hyperperfusion. Yeah, inadequate perfusion. It's hyperperfusion. Is there any uh, difference in enough oxygen to get to the cell to find enough waste to get out or vice versa? For right now, it's just it's all enough. You know, if you don't have enough oxygen, you don't have enough waste. You said hyperperfusion or shock. Yeah, hyperperfusion equals shock. Good. All right, the fifth principle. The fifth principle has four parts. Part number one is the inspiration of oxygen. You can find this in your book if you want to follow along at home. We would be on page number 273, right there in the upper right hand corner. Right. Four parts to the big principle the inspiration of oxygen. 237. Is it 237? Yes, it's 243. I'm silly. It's 237. 237. Top left hand corner page. A little dyslexic tonight. It's okay. Too yeah. much full throttle. Alright, the fake principle deals with how oxygen gets from outside the body to your cells. Now it has four four steps that must be intact for this to occur. You have to have the inspiration of oxygen. The air you breathe in, the air I'm breathing, you're breathing, we're all breathing. What is the percentage of oxygen in this air? 21 percent, all right? So as we're breathing in this air, we're bringing in 21 percent of oxygen. You have to have the onloading of that oxygen into the red blood cells. All right, so you have to bring the oxygen in, and then you have to have the oxygen onloaded to the red blood cells in the lungs. Does that make sense? After that, you have to have the delivery of that oxygen to the cells in the body. All right, so we brought the oxygen in, we loaded it onto the red blood cells, and now the red blood cells have taken that oxygen into the body. And then the oxygen has to be offloaded to the cells. Right. The total oxygen delivered to the cell 
is equal to the total amount of oxygen used by the cell plus what is taken away from the cell. We good? Uh, think of that statement right here, think about it like this. Right. The pizza man brings Mr. Jingles 20 slices of pizza. Okay. Mr. Jingles then eats 15 slices of pizza and then throws 5 slices of pizza away. The total amount of pizza delivered to Mr. Jingles is what Mr. Jingles ate plus what he threw away. Does that make sense? Alright, so it's the total amount of oxygen delivered to the, the total amount of oxygen delivered to the cell is equal to the amount that got used by the cell plus the amount that did not get used by the cell. Does that make sense? And obviously that amount that didn't get used by the cell is going to travel on further down the line and get used by another cell. It's just worded kind of funny. That's, that's really not that. So I don't know what the question you tonight is. It's, it's the total amount that's delivered to the cell, whether it uses it or not. Alrighty, now we're going to get into the very basics of cellular metabolism. 